one shot steaming piles. Doesn't really take much imagination to figure out what I mean by that, does it? But go ahead and dig on in. Well, okay, no, don't, don't really do that. Just maybe watch, but don't play along. That's what I'd recommend. Or just don't watch at all because I'm not very good at this. That's fine too. Yeah, jeez, I'm an earthling. I've got to destroy all these alien bubbles. Or, or, or wait, am I an alien and I have to destroy all these earth bubbles? They're going to destroy my planet. I have no idea. Maybe it's both. Maybe it's a combination. Maybe it's neither. How in the world do you expect me to know? The game can't even figure out its own name consistently. I'm being dead serious. The name of the game is different in the Steam store than it is on its own title page. We're in for a treat, folks. Hiya folks, Fruit and Doggy here getting into a new game that's pretty much a guaranteed one-shot. I can tell you that much. Um, tried a couple of test recordings, found out I can move the character with the controller, but I can't fire, which makes using the controller completely negligible and pointless. So that's great. And then there's no way to actually exit out of the game manually, you have to intentionally open like a task manager and close the program kind of uh, by force. So, uh, man, just bursting with obvious signs of quality, I know. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it. And one thing I wanted to double check was, um, this opening music is quite loud. I was trying to figure out if there's game music that plays during the level, so I'm gonna find out. And there's an opening ditty. You know, the blah 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 blah. But no, there's no further. Gosh darn, that sneaking loud. Okay, you've got to tap it each time. You can't just hold it to fire. So this isn't really the type of game you would theoretically mass shoot, but... Oh, what? Wait, 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 wait. Why do I want to shoot different bullets? Why do I want to use a knife? Is that just a visual thing? It sounds different. I can... Is the... <laughs> I can't tell if the speed of the knife is different or not. Like, I have no idea. But yeah, this reminds me, woo, of a game I played a long time ago. Just a basic arcade game on a, you know, a free game website. It was fun, but it was really hard. This basic concept, oh, let me move the mouse cursor, sorry. It's very, oh, that's why I keep is there a way I can just click on the side? Yes. This idea gets very difficult very quick. Oh, wow. I'm not even trying to make it hard on myself, and it's, it's just very difficult. But, um, yeah, the difference is that that game had a timer, and so not only did you have to be careful, while you were destroying the uh, bubbles, you also had to be efficient. And two simple differences I noticed about this game and that is no timer. There were no, there's no power-ups. I don't remember from all this time ago, but um, the height of the balls are varying as far as their peak jump height based on when I burst the press, uh, previous level bubble. So if I hit it at the peak of its uh, height, it bounces much higher, which theoretically gives it more time to be in the air. But if they're all going at different heights and rates, that might make it hard to track. I did not just beat it. I did not just beat the entire game. You've got to be kidding. 
No, no, no! What? I was, I was just starting to discuss the features of the game. I was just trying to get a feel of how it played. Are you serious? It barely, it barely covered all of its own rules. It just barely explained all of its basics. Do this, this is how this works, this is how this works. It threw a couple of levels for me to adjust to this. And how much of this was complete nonsense? I mean, I don't know how I even changed the projectile even if I wanted to. Like, it introduced this idea with the knives, but... What? What? That's already over? And I, I, I also want to comment on this stupid little screen when it says, Victory Dance. <coughs> okay, two things to point out. One, he's completely stock still. Two, not only is he stock still, no animation, no movement, but you can actually keep moving your character even after you beat the stage. It's, that's an oddity. That's sort of strange. But, um, can I shoot? Or is that? No, you can't shoot, but you can move. Anyways, um, that's not even a pose that looks like dancing. That doesn't look like, oh man, he's throwing out a groove. He's throwing out those dance moves, baby. Ho, 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 ho. No! He looks like he's, like, victory. Ho, oh, yay. And his facial features are so bland and nondescript, you can't even read emotion into it. I mean, there's no... It has loud, vibrant, catchy music for the title screen, but then none plays during the game. Oh, okay. So, this is, you know, truthfully, what you could say is, like, the first real stage. The stage where it's like, okay, here's... Here's where things get a little tricky, again, you know, my man. I mean, I didn't even know that was the last stage. So what I'm trying to do is see how many stages there are and how quickly the game wraps up. I mean, I've already seen the different problems. Um, visuals, they do the job, but they're so basic, you know, just bare. Bones, animation and movement on his walk cycle. Um, this very basic background. The balls, let me look at the balls. Yeah, just a pure geometric shape. No shading, no uh, like sense of depth that they're three-dimensional objects. You know, it's just how to put it, it just doesn't give any vibrancy. And this is the last... Whoop, I can't look at it there. Yeah, this is the last stage already. Like... I don't, I don't remember, again, this has been years since I played that last game, but it had multiple stages, and it got difficult. And, you know, because of my... Mainly because of the timer. If it didn't have the timer, I actually think I would have gotten quite a bit further, but... Yeah, see? Nice work. You won the game level, and now you go on to the next one. Except, no, you won't! I mean, even the title screen just looks atrocious. It's supposed to be Alien Bubble Shooter. Doesn't even have the word alien any on, anywhere on there. Then it throws in kind of like a subtitle. Ball popper. Platform. There's no platforms. It's a completely fl flat arena. Bubble pop. And then this part is even more confusing. Game kit. Game kit. And this project is to show off some of the features of the kit on the asset store. So... This is like an advertisement, you know, a showcase or a presentation, like somebody's PowerPoint work. Cause I'm not impressed. I mean, sure you can create the very, very bare bones basic of a game this way, but 
nothing worth putting up on the store. Definitely not worth attaching a price point to. This is something that drives me nuts. Steam has free games. A lot of free games. And I understand. Even if... Let me... Let me sorry. Let me bring this up so... I can at least talk without having to dry over the music. Just gonna get like the third stage where they're bouncing straight up. Actually, I can stop right there. That works. I was talking about the tile screen. That's why I was saying that for a while, but... <laughs> 